everyone, welcome to Minutes with Murray. That's Murray's Minutes. Hope you've got a few minutes because we're going to be talking about guitars. Um, I've got quite a collection of guitars. I mean, you can see some of them here um, and I've got lots more at home. Um, over the last few years, I've um, built up quite a collection. When I was young, I remember seeing um, Stephen Stills from Crosby, Stills & Nash in Guitar Player magazine and he had 60 guitars and I just thought, man, that'd be fantastic to have that many guitars because I was really, by this stage, I was really, you know, in love with the guitar. And in the last few years, I've, I've managed to collect quite a lot of different guitars. I particularly like um, vintage guitars. I like um, sort of electric guitars from the 60s and 50s and um, then I've got some acoustic guitars even that go back even further. Um, this, this guitar that I've got here is a, a Fender Telecaster from the, the, the 50s and um, it's been modified a bit but um, it's a beautiful guitar and, and I think just the, the mostly I like the older guitars because of the way they feel they, um, they just feel different to, um, to new guitars, they, they, they feel like someone someone's loved them and uh, played them a lot and I, re I actually like the ones that are kind of knocked around and a bit more battered because they in in, uh, in guitar playing circles they say that it has mojo and uh, I like guitars with mojo <laughs> the different guitars have different sounds but uh, then you can modify the sounds uh, by putting them through different different pedals <laughs> This is actually one of my favourite guitars. It's um, it's a Gretsch um, White Falcon. The Gretsch White Falcon. And it was um, Gretsch's sort of top of the line guitar. Um, well, I guess it still is, but uh, Gretsch is owned by Fender now. But um, in in, um, in the 60s, it was its own company, 50s and 60s. Uh, they made drums and they made guitars. And uh, this is just a beautiful guitar. Mm -hmm. It's um, nice, to, beautiful to play. It's um, uh, got a great sound. Um, you can do all sorts of things with it. It's really nice on that kind of um, just really sort of quiet, languid. Rockabilly guitar. <laughs> so it's great fun, and it, it's it's a great colouring guitar too. I use this quite a lot on um, lots of different stuff, um, uh, lots of different wiggle songs because uh, I, I really like what it can do, and it's just fun to play. It's really, it's a lovely guitar. <laughs> This is um, uh, it's called a, a whammy bar or a, um, a tremolo arm. Um, this one's a, also called a Bigsby, which is just the brand, um, and it's uh, has a spring on it and uh, it changes the tension on the strings. So you can play a chord and, and make it waver. <laughs> Murray. 
guitars are a Gibson Les Paul. The Gibson Les Paul. And um, it's got a different sort of pickups to the, to some of these Fenders. The Fenders have what they call single single pole pickups, so they're um, uh, they're kind of thinner sounder, twangier. These are uh, called double pole pickups or humbuckers, and they're kind of thicker. And um, so they they're, they're really uh, used for kind of heavier stuff in general. I mean, you can use it for all sorts of stuff. You can get quite a sweet, just um, jazzy sound. Um, and in fact, they were, the guitar was invented by Les Paul, who was a uh, jazz guitarist, great jazz guitarist. But um, it was really uh, popularised in the in the '60s by people like Eric Clapton and uh, Jimmy Page, especially from Led Zeppelin. And uh, so it's a great rock guitar. <laughs> teens I guess I went through a bit of a heavy rock phase and um, uh, and I, I loved Led Zeppelin they were a great band and, and um, uh, they did they did a lot of stuff I mean they started off really heavy but then they went through kind of in on Led Zeppelin 3 there were a lot of sort of more folky stuff and of course everyone knows some um, Stairway to Heaven which um, starts off as a kind of a finger picking almost folky thing and then uh, turns into a hard rock song <laughs> change the sound with pedals and um, I can make it more distorted so so you can play things like um so uh, things like that or you know It's got lots of different effects pedals. And uh, the different guitars have different sounds, but uh, then you can modify the sounds uh, by putting them through different different pedals. And they've all got foot switches on them, so I can just turn them on and off. Um, but they're kind of fun too. <laughs> they make lots of different sounds. Yeah, the guitar kind of sounds like this without any anything. Add a delay pedal. Which is an echo, you can just hear. That's with it off. And then on this. Um, this next one. Oh, not that one. <laughs> this next one. Uh, down here is. Uh, called a phaser and they were around a lot in the 70s, there's lots of real 70s sounds kind of that's with it off and then on it's kind of creates kind of swishing sound and uh, that can be fun sometimes for certain things um, and then I've got a few different distortion pedals which uh, all sound slightly different but um, uh, they distort the note and sustain it as well. Um, it's kind of a real kind of hard rock sound. <laughs> but, uh, uh, so if, without it, the guitar sounds like this. With it, it sounds like this. Pretty heavy sound, we don't use it that much in the Wiggles. <laughs> Um, this is 
one of the guitars I use live. Um, they're made by uh, Mayton, which is an Australian company. Marie, Marie. Great Australian company, they make some really great guitars, and um, this is um, one that, that they made up for us, especially in the Wiggles colours. And uh, and they've also got the inlay with saying the Wiggles, and uh, they've really looked after us. And uh, they're great guitars. Um, this, this is uh, kind of, I guess, one of their lower um, price range ones, but we just really like the, the kind of retro look of them. And uh, a lot of people are playing them uh, around the place now. Josh Homme from uh, Queens of the Stone Age and uh, uh, a whole bunch of other people overseas and in Australia. And uh, this is one of their electrics, but their acoustics are particularly good. They've been making uh, great acoustics for many, many years now. And in fact, uh, my first guitar was a Maton, and I'm still proudly pl playing them. I've got um, this one's little, big, big brother, little brother, I guess. Oh, oh, hang on. Uh, welcome back to the uh, Minutes with Murray Studio. Uh, we, we seem to have a small technical problem. Uh, oh, we seem to have everything clear. Back to you, Murray. Here she is, and uh, same thing, it says the wiggles on the, the neck, which is uh, kind of cool, and it's red, which is, of course, my colour. And uh, yeah, I love playing this guitar, it's great. Well, I should play a bit of uh, Eagle Rock, which is uh, a good friend. Um, Ross Wilson song, of course, and uh, we had the great fortune of playing it with him. Eagle Rock's great. Oh, and uh, I have to turn the volume up. Yeah. Oh. Hi, me again in the minutes with Murray Studio. Uh, that guitar doesn't seem to be working. Oh, Murray's got it working. Back to you, Murray. <laughs> We love our matins, I've got lots of great guitars and uh, this is just one of them. This is an interesting guitar, it's quite an um, unusual, rare kind of guitar, it's um, an electric sitar, it was, it's from the 60s and it was uh, used a lot in the 60s, um, and it has, it's kind of like a cross between a guitar and a sitar, it has um, strings that resonate, which sound horrible by themselves, and they have, they have a pick up under them, and then uh, you actually play the regular six strings, and um, I, I use it sometimes in the wiggles because it just makes me laugh really. <laughs> <laughs> the sound of it. Um, it. If a song sounds a bit too serious or it doesn't have the, quite the right feel, it kind of lifts it up. But you heard it um, in the old days um, on lots of songs. Sometimes they were real sitars that they were using in the 60s, but um, a lot of them were, were this, the, the uh, choral electric sitar. Um, you know, things like... Um But yeah, it's, it's something I don't play a real lot, but uh, it's great to just add a colour. A Martin Acoustic uh, D28, it's called. Um, they're an American guitar. Um, this one's from the, the 40s, it's uh, 1947 it was made and it actually belonged to um, a session guy. Um, I can't remember his name offhand but I know he played on uh, I think Behind Closed Doors and uh, uh, by Charlie Rich and um, he played this guitar. It's, a, it's just a lovely sounding guitar. The, the older the wood gets I think with acoustic guitars um, the better they sound. <laughs>
Um, this is um, one of my many Stratocasters, a Fender Stratocaster. Uh, this one's from 1963, I believe. <laughs> so this one's got uh, three pickups and uh, a, a switch that you can choose uh, which one you want to listen to, which one you want to use. Uh, it, that's in the middle, so it's just this middle pickup. Um, the back pickup sounds twangier and sort of more trebly. Then if you, if you select the uh, front pickup, it's a kind of kind of rounder, warmer sort of sound. So, so you know you might use that for jazzy sort of things. And uh, a friend of mine made it actually, a guy that um, looks after my guitars. And uh, it's something we've been using a fair bit just recently in the Wiggles. Um, hula, 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 nothing could be cooler. Da, 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 da. Hula, 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 nothing could be cooler. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Can't remember the words, but that's how it goes. <laughs> Middle swim, 